Hi everyone, it's Michael. Um, so I have another very nice little uh, mathematical gem for you today. Um, this one was posted on the Art of Poem Solving Forum by Parmenides. Um, so he posts a lot of very nice geometry problems. Um, he has his own Facebook page um, called Romantics of Geometry. So if you haven't, I'd highly recommend checking it out. Um, so thanks for posting this one, Parmen Parmenides. Um, it's from the 2018 Romania uh, Junior Balkan Math Olympiad Team Selection Test. Um, so if you want to try to solve it, feel free to pause the video. All right, so we have a triangle ABC, um, where AB is not equal to AC, and D is the midpoint of uh, BC. E and F are the, perpend are the feet of the perpendiculars from D to AB and AC. Uh, M is the midpoint of EF, and O is the circumcenter of ABC, and we want to show that DM and AO are parallel. Okay, so um, when I first saw this problem, um, I thought of a theorem. Um, so the, the line AO, it's always... Uh, perpendicular to the feet of the to the line connecting the feet of the altitudes from B and C. So if we drew uh, the feet of the altitude from B to AC, and we drew the foot of the altitude from C to AB, and we connected the two, then AO has to be perpendicular to that. So that's a theorem. I mentioned it in um, my video number 18, um, which had a, an IMO shortlist problem from a while back. Um, and I gave a proof there, um, so if you want, you could refer to that video to see the proof. But I'm going to give a little bit of a different proof in this video, um, just to, just for sake of variety. So I'm going to start out by drawing those two perpendiculars. Okay. Um, so I want to show that AO is perpendicular to GH. And... I kind of chose this strategy because so I want to show that DM and AO are parallel. Well, if I know AO is perpendicular to GH, then if I can show DM is also perpendicular to GH, and that would solve the trick. So that was kind of what I was trying to hope, hoping to do here. Um, and so here's going to be my proof that AO is perpendicular to GH. Um, so, like I said, different than my last one. So first I'm going to notice that um, since angle BGC and BHC are both 90 degrees, uh, BGHC has to be a cyclic quadrilateral. Okay. Um, and now what I'm going to do, this may seem a little random, but I'm going to draw the circumcircle of ABC, and I'm going to draw the tangent at A um, going off in this direction. So I is just any point on that tangent from A. Um, and then I will do a little angle chase. The whole purpose of this is to show that AO is perpendicular to GH. Um, so, um, so one thing I forgot to mention, so BGHC is cyclic, like I mentioned, um, but since BGC and BHC are right angles, that means BC is a diameter in the, in the circle, in the circumscribed circle of BGHC. So, since BC is the diameter and D is the midpoint, D is the center of that circle. All right, so now I'm going to move on to the angle chase that I mentioned. Um, so we have angle BAI is equal to angle BCA, and BCA is equal to angle AGH. And that's because um, since BGHC is cyclic, um, the, the angle C has to be the exterior of the opposite angle of BGH. So angle C has to be equal angle AGH. So here we have angle BAI is equal to angle AGH. And so since those are alternate interior angles, um, AI has to be parallel to GH. Um, but so if AI is parallel to GH, well, we know AI is perpendicular to AO because um, it's a tangent at point A. So since AI is perpendicular to AO, then AO has to be perpendicular to GH. So I'm going to write that out. 
like I said, AO is perpendicular to AI, so AO has to be perpendicular to GH since it's parallel to AI. So this is a little bit of a different um, proof of that fact than in my previous video. Um, but yeah, so all that was just to show you this one fact, which some people might just see right away just because they've seen it so many times. Okay, so we've established that. Um, so now we want to show that dm is perpendicular to gh because that would that would help us show that dm and ao are parallel. So how do we do that? Well, one thing to notice is we want to show dm is perpendicular to gh, but d is the center of the circle through d, g, h, and c, and so the perpendicular from d to gh has to be uh, the midpoint of hg. That's just because if you have a center of a circle, which is point D in this case, then the the line from the center of the circle to the midpoint of a chord, so the chord would be GH, is always perpendicular to that chord. So I'm going to um, construct a point J to be the midpoint of GH. We know that DJ is perpendicular to GH, so if we want to show that dm is perpendicular to gh, then we want to show that these three are linear. So that's what I'm going to attempt to do. Okay, so j is the midpoint of gh. So now we're almost there. Um, so the next thing I'm going to note is uh, clearly uh, de has to be uh, parallel to cg because both of those are uh, perpendicular to the side ab. Um, so since D is the midpoint of BC, E has to be the midpoint of BG. So I'm going to write that out. DE is parallel to CG, and so BE has to equal EG because BD was DC. Okay, so BE is equal to EG, but we also know that J is the midpoint of GH by construction. So since GJ is JH, EJ has to be parallel to BH. Um, and BH obviously has to be parallel to DF because they're both perpendicular to AC. So we have JE is parallel to DF, and by the same argument, JF is parallel to DE. So basically, JEDF is a parallelogram. And now it's clear why J, M, and D have to be collinear, because um, if you take two opposite um, vertices of a parallelogram, they're collinear with the midpoint of uh, either diagonal, really. That's because the, the diagonals of a parallelogram bisect each other. So um, this is just writing it out. D, E, J, F is a parallelogram, and so J, M, and D have to be collinear. Um, so I'm going to draw in that segment, and now we're basically there. Um, so since dm and j are collinear, um, like I mentioned before, since d is the circumcenter of bghc, um, dj has to be perpendicular to gh because the center of a circle is, is um, if you connect it to the midpoint of a chord, gh in this case, uh, the line connecting it has to be perpendicular to that chord. Um, so this is just writing that out, gj equals jh, so dj has to be perpendicular to gh, and now we're basically there, because dj is, is dm, um, they're the same line, so since dj is perpendicular to gh, and ao we mentioned was perpendicular to gh, um, then DJ has to be parallel to AO, and so DM has to be parallel to AO, and that solves the problem. So this is a fun little one, um, so I hope you uh, all enjoyed it. Um, if you liked the video, um, give it a thumbs up, and if you want to see more videos like this in the future, uh, feel free to subscribe to my channel. Uh, thanks, everyone.